For today's Stuff Like the Tunes, you gotta make sure you're eating simple and clean because that'll turn your body into a sanctuary. Yeah, tracking down some friends, wiping out some heartless. You know it. Yo, dudes, you do that. Your friendly neighborhood Jack Split is here with another episode of Tough Like the Tunes. And Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally here. Oh my god. I am just so freaking happy that it is finally here. Like this right here, these games. These were my childhood. I know you can't see it because of the light, but they were my childhood as a kid. Like, I played these religiously. And you know what? Years later, I just found out that there was all this other stuff. But luckily, I got that, uh, what was it? Where did it go? But luckily, I got this game right here, so it helped me, like, catch up in time. And I just watched the cutscenes because all that other stuff, it's just it's a bit unnecessary that you have to go through all this and buy several different consoles and get all this stuff, but whatever. All right, Kingdom Hearts 3 is here, and I'm freaking hyped. And while playing through this game, I got that old spark of joy I used to get when playing it, and it just, like, reignited a love that I had for this game. And then, you know, just seeing the characters, you know, Sora and Riku and freaking Kairi and freaking Roxas again, I just, I, I got hyped. I got so freaking hyped to see them all again but I got this like passion to just do this stuff like the tunes because like at the beginning like when Sora was talking to Hercules he was like I lost my strength and I get stronger and I just want to get fit again and all this stuff and it just like it just clicked with me like this is the perfect thing I need to do this I have to do this real talk I bet my kid self would be geeking out that this is about to happen right now and I decided to do this stuff like the tunes because like if you ever played Kingdom Hearts these guys are athletic as fuck I mean god dang like you see what Sora and Riku are all like doing they're all like running through these places like they can freaking run without stopping they have like insane leaping ability running up walls like they must have insane forearm strength to like wield the keyblade and just fight all these freaking heartless and nobodies and it's just so insane and just oh my god like this workout routine right now is going to help you get a nice strong athletic body and it's going to be a circuit base so you can do it uh, any time of day or any time of week if what you want to do like three to four times a week be sure to hydrate properly do my warm-up routine and this is just gonna help you develop a stronger, more athletic body so that you're able to like run longer distances and also, you know, like have stronger bodies and able to fight off people if they try to come at you and hurt the ones you love because that's what you need to do. This is about protecting those that matter to you. And don't worry, if you don't have one of these babies, I've got a bunch of workouts. Like, and if you're a beginner, I got a bunch of workouts in here to make you, you know, still get a nice athletic sweat on so that you feel better and you know, you can feel like, oh my God, I'm so great, I worked out today and then you can go play Kingdom Hearts 3 and just be like, wow, I can be like that character right there somewhat. So, you know what, just working at it. But you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So with that said, get your heart ready, get a bottle of water, and let's get ready to train. Booyah. All right, first up, I'm gonna help you get some powerful, powerful arms like my boy Riku, because Riku was jacked, bro. I don't care what anyone says, Riku's got those jack swole arms. And so I wanna help this. This is what I call Riku God Makers, because you know on my channel we call God Makers, because every anime character who does push-ups becomes like a super powered being. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop back to forth while doing push-ups. So you're just going to do side to side push-ups, and you're gonna like, you know, hop along with it. This is plyometric, it's building power, it's building strength, it's building muscle, it's also helping you lean out but one thing you want to stay important if you don't like if you're not super advanced to do it you can always do a standard push-up and just walk side to side like I'm doing here you know just standard push-up all I'm doing is side to side walking here and if you are a beginner where you know you can't do either of those just yet it's fine like don't feel ashamed like they say in Game of Thrones take the knee so what you do is just get on your knees and then just you know side to side push-ups that's it side to side push-ups and then gradually build your way up to doing the side to side you know standard push-ups and and then you can add on and doing those side to side uh, standard push up, well, side to side plyo push ups. That's going to give you like a lot of strength and muscle mass, and it's gonna be just giving you some awesome benefits. Each of these exercises is going to be 45 seconds, and then before you move on to the next one, it'll be 10 seconds rest. So keep that in mind. After that, we got some Sora sprint jumps. Like these are when you're running up the wall. You may know how Sora likes to run up walls and stuff like that. And also, Sora has insane cardio. Like when you play the game, you just see like he can run for distances and distances and just not get tired. So it's just like, this is one of the things that's gonna help you build that stamina. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna run in place for about five seconds or a five count and then just jump to the left and jump to the right. Like imagine you're running up and a freaking Titan's throwing rocks at you or freaking a bad guy's 
trying to come attack you or anything like that and you have to dodge it so that's what you're doing you're jogging and you're like running in place and then you jump from side to side jump from side to side and again if you're a beginner or you have like you know a bit dodgy knees then what you can do is just simply you know jog in place and then alternate sides where you go like walk back and forth or jog back and forth side to side like you know horizontally that's what you got to do there's no shame in it just take your time and build up to it or if you have bad knees there's no shame just do those things but that's going to help you get nice and athletic like Sora and Riku and all the other Keyblade Masters it's just badass. Now this one is going to be a bit challenging. It's going to be heartless finishers. So what you're going to do, imagine you have a sword. Again, you can use like a bat or anything you want to if you don't have a keyblade like I'm using here. And then you just jump up and like jump like you're karate chopping the air. Like you're just coming up, you're bending the knees and you jump up and then you slash down. Jump up, slash down. And this is just like you're finishing off heartless. You're coming out, you're going powerful. You're just like, ah, I got to save you, Kyrie. Ha! Ah! And just do that for 45 seconds is gonna be very tiring, but also remember to land softly. You don't wanna buckle your knees when doing this, so just land softly. And remember, if you're a beginner, no shame whatsoever. Just, you know, do what I'm doing here. Squat down, lift your arms above your head like you have an imaginary sword, and then chop. Slot, lift up, chop. And when you chop down now, since you're not doing the vertical motion where you're jumping, all you gotta do is just, you know, focus on uh, contracting the core so you work your abdominal muscles as well so you get a strong core. Next up, we're gonna work on the forearms because if you've ever played with a sword or mastered a sword or done any sort of sword training, you know how important forearms in and it's like, you know, fighting with swords and all that. So this is just something you can do. I actually learned this from my uh, rehabilitation for when I had an injured elbow. So what you do is you just put your hand over the other one and then you use it as resistance and you try to push it as hard as possible. And you can either make this isometric where you hold it, where your other hand is just too strong and you can't budge, or you can do like just use it as resistance and move it back and forth and then just switch to do it bottom hand so that you're able to switch doing which way so that you both the sides of the forearm are worked and this is just imperative for keeping your forearms healthy and safe. For wielding a sword, it's really important to have strong forearms so you don't, because you're always like wandering like this, especially if you're fighting. So like this is just a way you can either do isometrics or you can do uh, just uh, curl it up using resistance like that. It's a great way to work them. We did this in my physical therapy class and one of the main reasons why I don't have the golfer's elbow or tennis elbow as severely as I did before. And I just highly recommend trying it out. Great way for strengthening and also important because you're gonna need this for battling heartless. <laughs> Next, we've got these save Kyries. This is what you're gonna do. It's like you're praising her right there. All right, so what you do is, what I'm using is my Keyblade, but it's pretty much just you lift your legs off the ground and lift your arms up the ground as well. This is working your upper back, your lower back, and your core as well. And this is what you do. You just follow what I'm doing. If you, As a matter of fact, if you have a towel, you can do this. Just make sure when you pull on the towel, you're pulling outwardly. Like you're trying to pull, like rip the towel apart. Like make sure it's not a brittle towel that rips apart, but like use a towel. And then just like when you come up, like I'm doing right here, watch what I'm doing, and then just down. Hold it for like about two seconds and then down. But again, if you aren't you know strong enough or if you don't have uh, anything near you, you can always do it without any equipment. Or you can just do a Superman where you just you know act like Superman. You're flying if you're like not strong enough to do that, or you feel like your lower back is going to get out because you do not want to injure your lower back at all. This is actually a beneficial exercise in keeping the lower back safe, and it's helped me countless times. So definitely try it out if you need to. Superman hold, and that's completely fine. But again, I definitely go with these raising your arms up above your head. Great way to work your back without doing like a serious like pull up exercise or anything like that. Next up, we got some Rage Slash Burpees. And these ones, actually, I had to put my sword down for because, like, my thing kept hitting me in the face and my keyblade, like, kept swinging around like it's not very sturdy. But uh, what you do is, like, it's like you're doing a burpee. And then when you get up, imagine you have, like, a sword. And then you're just, like, slashing down each side. And if you've done my... Asta tough like the tunes or my guts tough like the tunes when you slash make sure to contract your core like when you slash down blow out your air so that it contracts and you feel it in your core and then what you do is you got to make this a fast movement so like as soon as you slash both ways boom boom go down do the burpee back up dun 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 it's not even really a burpee it's more of like a fast get up that we used to do in football and again if you aren't 
strong enough or have like uh, you're not fit enough to do that, then what you can easily do is just know get, walk down, walk back up, slash slash. Walk down, walk back up, slash slash. Great way to work the body all over and great at getting your results. Then we move on to some ab exercises because you gotta have strong abs, just a strong body overall for this workout routine. And these are push throughs, very simple, very self-explanatory. All you're gonna do is push through, that's it. Just like get in the position I'm in and push through. And when you push through, blow out all the air at the top so that your core contracts and you really feel it in your abdominals. That's a great way to work them, great way to feel them, great way to like help, you know, get the stomach nice and strong so that you're working, because you're working your core, you're working your lower back, working upper back, you're just working your entire body and that's going to be so beneficial in getting you those nice strong uh, Keyblade Master gains. And then we finish off the circuit with straight legs and this is what you're going to do. Instead of doing 45 seconds all the way through, you're going to do 30 seconds each leg. So like lift it up and then slowly let it down. Like try to do a five count, like one, two, three, four, five on the way down. This is also phenomenal for keeping your knees safe if you're one of those people who has like knee injuries or anything like that. But it's great for just keeping the legs nice and strong and healthy all over. So take your time, switch legs, do it on the other side. And this is a great way for strengthening the legs. So in conclusion, for the Kingdom Hearts Keyblade Master Workout, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with Riku Godmakers for those powerful arms. You're going to do that for 45 seconds, then you're going to rest 10 seconds, then you're going to go straight into Sora Sprint Jumps, and then you're going to do those for 45 seconds, rest 10 seconds, then go into Heartless Finishers, jump, remember, be careful, then rest 10 seconds, then right into Keyblade Forearms, you're going to do 30 seconds each side, pulling like up, 30 seconds down then you know rest 10 seconds then straight to the save Kyrie's 45 seconds on then 10 seconds off and you know rage slash burpees like this one like just try to go through it you push through you got this and then you know like the rest is pretty self-explanatory you know 45 seconds on 10 seconds off that's what the whole workout is and then after you complete this entire circuit all the way through make sure to rest for one minute and then after that one minute repeat it four to five more times for an effective workout hell you can try to go 10 times if you want to do it and like really go beast mode with it but remember go at your own pace warm up drink water and then of course cool down and I got warm-up videos on my channel that you can look at and I have a cool down video if you want to do like a stretch workout like my Luffy workout and remember just focus on it like being the best you possible and you got this remember just look in the mirror every day believe in yourself you got this I have believe in you Jack's blade believes in you and you know Jack's blade Keyblade. I think I know what I'm talking about all right look in your heart you know what I mean <laughs> boo yeah well, do's and do that. I hope you enjoyed today's Teflic Tunes. It was really fun to do. I uh, love Kingdom Hearts. This is a big part of my childhood. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do some for it. Where's my thing at? It's just falling down. There we go. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great time with this workout. Remember, take your time, go slow, you know, be sure to have your water with you and don't push yourself too hard. Just push yourself to the point where you're like, all right, I can do this, but don't injure yourself. Remember, it's bodybuilding, not body destroying. Remember, if you're a beginner, just go slow at the pace that I set for you. Follow those beginner exercises. This is going to help you develop a nice, strong, lean, athletic body and, you know, help you get, you know, make you feel better, more confident, and you can do it all at home. It's just a body weight routine that you do need anything for. But if you want to take your body weight routine or just to have a home training routine that's better in general then go down my description box below because I have a full training routine with like meal plans uh, schedules and like prep of how you can be motivated in a hero's will that's how you just stay motivated and when everything is against you that you still have that hero's will to keep going like our favorite heroes in media also I have um, a training program called all my aim to pass American dream plan basically that in real life but I call call it Athletic Hero Build, and it's just a eight month training program you can use to build muscle, burn fat, just get that superhero physique like when all my train Deku. And uh, yeah, you can like get it when it comes to routine, meal plans, all that. And uh, of course you can get my guide, a mighty guide. That's a home training program to help you build muscle, burn fat at home with no equipment. And uh, it comes with like how to eat properly and all that and uh, schedules of how to make it effective and how to make it a fat burning workout or how to make it a muscle building workout.
work out. But Kingdom Hearts has just been such a massive part of my childhood and my love, and I just absolutely love it so much, and that's why I always wanted to do this workout. I got that spark of joy and talk about training. This is something I actually always wanted as a kid too, so this is pretty fun to me. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, take your time, work your way up, and you know, train hard, and you too can be a hero like Sora, Riku, or Kairi, and you know, be your own Keyblade master. You know what I'm talking about. And go to Disney World afterwards. You'll feel great. And then play Kingdom Hearts 3. Be sure you're playing Kingdom Hearts 3. It's a really fun game. I highly recommend it. Just watch the movies on YouTube if you are, you know, backlogged if you only played one or two. <sighs> Remember, like I always say, keep calm. Booyah on. And don't forget, moment tie. Now go be the hero of your story. Yo, yo, gorge.